everyone, Joey here. I'm back with the six minimal s o m e tour. For this week's minimal s o m e tour, let's talk about filling the void, i.e., empty space, extra space, as a minimalist. Before we start, I would like to clarify that there's really no right answer again to live your life. Um, your focus could be not on minimalism at all. It could be on your family. It could be on a philosophy that you want to explore. It could be on a research project. Your career might be your priority. Your hobbies might be your priority. Maybe traveling is your priority. Maybe your priority is seeing other people around you happy. That's not necessarily family. I like to look at people as kind of like a pie chart, basically, or pie. Uh, some of us want more of the strawberry flavor out of our pie. Some of us want more blueberry. Even as time goes by, perhaps we want more blueberries, more orange, so on and so forth. I'm thinking about these things because I'm at like the last, you know, couple months of my. Almost a decade of study. I know that my pie chart will change, and it's actually like I can't, I almost can't even talk about it right now because it's going to make me emotional. But it's been something that I've been thinking about. One thing that I would like to tell people is every single human being wants a complete pie, no matter what type of flavor they put on it. Which means I think everyone is most happy when they feel like they are at their full capacity. Like I said, your full capacity—it doesn't even have to be anything productive. Perhaps your full capacity is resting, is being out in nature, is uh, listening to amazing music, and I don't know, filling your senses. What is what is it called? Hedonism? Maybe maybe that part of your pie is bigger. But in any case, um, if you only have half a pie. And you're forced to only have half a pie, you're not going to be happy. Meaning, everybody's going to want to fully self-actualize and have a complete pie, just with different flavors. And you know, if you are a little bit wise and you kind of like look outside of what society tells you that all of your flavor of your pie should be, you will realize that there are many other options of the flavor that you can put on your pie. And you know, if anybody is, I guess you could say, stopping you from having a full pie, again, doesn't matter what flavor. But if anyone's stopping you from actively putting the flavors that you want on your pie, then that would be considered exploitation. But luckily, I guess I'm in a position where mostly I can put things I I want, the flavors on my pie. Um, some ingredients are very difficult to get because there are other people who want the same ingredient, or some ingredients are kept from me because of society. Uh, so it takes a little more, I guess, effort on my part to get these ingredients. But you know, that's the point. And speaking of the pie, when you adopt minimalism, you're essentially sort of clearing certain um, toppings from one area of the pie. Uh, let's say you had a pie that, and everything was filled with a bunch of ingredients, but you realize I want to carve out some extra space so I can put a different topping on it. That is minimalism, you know. You had a huge pie, maybe a quarter of it you felt like clearing out because you no longer want these flavors. Uh, maybe somebody else put those flavors on there. You don't really want it. I don't know why I'm talking about pie. Maybe because I, I have a colorful shirt. I like the way I look today. Yeah, I guess I don't know. You know, you never know what visual clues you pick up from your environment that makes you think a certain way. Um, but anyway, I got distracted. Don't get annoyed, <laughs> or you can get annoyed. Whatever. Uh, when I created a lot of space, right? Um, whether it's in my apartment, in my life, you know, decluttering the type of relationships that I don't want, not just romantic, but you know, in general. Um, I realized there's this urge to fill up these empty spaces and empty spots. That's because your pie has an empty spot, and you want to fill it up. Um, and in this case, you know, I always say it's okay to leave empty spaces, leave things empty. You don't always have to fill up your house. You don't always have to fill up your schedule. But I would like to argue, you do have to fill up those spaces with something. Even if they're not tangible, I even talked about this before. I think it's something on the invisible value of things. For instance, um, before I knew how to fill up my empty spaces at my own accord, uh, other people would fill it up for me. For instance, during vacation time, um, during my school days, uh, suddenly I would feel empty sometimes because because I would have had to work really hard, you know, publish papers, whatever. And then suddenly I would have all this extra time, and I didn't know what to do with it, and I didn't really value that extra time for myself or had any plan for it. So when you know my professor, for example, called me to like give me more work, I didn't really know how to say no because I didn't really value my empty time or utilize it. But these days, uh, 
if she were to ask me, uh, can you use all your free time for this? I'd be like, no, sorry, you know, because I've learned to fill up that empty extra time with other endeavors that are important to me or even rest. And the thing is, I've become very intentional about my rest. I really have to be intentional. Even if I work on my off days, because sometimes I do choose to work on my computer or something, but I make sure it's an activity that feels fun for me. But yeah, you know, even if you fill your pie up with a rest, you should be very intentional about it. But I just know what I like and what I don't like. Um, I try not to uh, second guess my intuition, second guess my instinct. I just do what I please, and, but it's very intentional. It's not an undisciplined, I will declare everything, I will not talk to everybody, uh, everybody sucks. It's not like that. I'm very, just very intentional about who I spend time with. Again, I know everyone's not perfect. Sometimes even I go through phases where I feel like I got my mojo. I'm very happy, positive, and things just happen for me. But then, you know, if I'm in like a negative patch, I feel like I don't attract good things. Um, and sometimes when you're too happy, other people spot it and then they'll try to suck your energy, right? Like they can sense that you're happy, so they kind of want a piece of that. You have to be very like protective, I think. But my point is, I'm sort of learning how to take charge of how I spend my extra energy and resources and time and even attention on things that matter to me the most. And you know, the thing about me is if one thing is taken off my plate, I know a million other things, maybe not a million, but at least a couple other things that I like that I can fill it up with. In my free time, I can, I can think of ways to up the quality of my YouTube video. I can ponder on these things. I can read a book. I can create more content for other things that I'm doing. I can work on my book. Um, I can go exercise. I can go out in nature. Um, there's so many things things that I already know that I do value, that I know that makes me happy, that I can fill up the empty spot on my pie with, that if other people come to me with their agenda, if it doesn't benefit me, if I feel like it's not for my benefit, then I can say no to that. And here's the thing, guys, like if you don't have agency over your own life, if you don't ch take charge of your own energy and resources and time, I'm telling you right now, other people will tell you what to do with that extra space. So you have to learn to fill it up and you have to value whatever it is that you choose to fill your pie with, even if it's just a simple rest. If you don't feel like deep down that you deserve rest, if you don't see the value of rest and if you've never had experience of intentionally resting and seeing what it can do for you in terms of adding value in other areas of your life, in terms of helping you become more productive, then then you don't know the value of your rest. Um, you know, as I said in last week's video, you sort of have to, as you learn to center yourself, especially if you're coming from a background where that wasn't really allowed or you're in an environment where people feel like you shouldn't center yourself. This is a lesson that you must learn. You must learn how to value yourself. This has been a struggle for me also. And you know, it's very easy also for me to feel victimized and I would be first to admit sometimes I feel like that. Sometimes I feel like people don't value my work, they don't value my voice, they don't value the things that I've built for myself. But I also have to come back and ask myself, do I value those things about me? Do I allow myself to, to recognize my own labor? recognize my own value, recognize my own worth. Again, I'm not blaming myself for not knowing my value because it's a little difficult to value yourself, especially, like I said, if you're used to other people not valuing you. But I'm sort of learning to de-internalize these things. Even if you finally learn the value of what you have, that doesn't mean other people will also see it. So you kind of have to um, accept the reality but also find a way to value yourself despite of that reality or find a way to communicate your value and um, so on and so forth. You know, I, I would be the first to admit, sometimes you got to play the game, even if the game is rigged. I'm not going to sit here and tell people you deserve to have all the oranges that you want on your pie because sometimes you can't have all the oranges on your pie, okay? Uh, maybe other people are more likely to get the oranges for your pie. What I will tell you though, is you deserve a complete pie. Every single human being deserves a complete pie. And how you fill the ingredients on top with the ingredients that you want, I guess you gotta find a way to get those ingredients that you want. The minimalism is just one tool. It just clears up the pie. Um, have fun decorating your pie. Maybe be a little out of the box, I don't know. Uh, get some flowers for your pie. Uh, 
you know, make it more aesthetic. And some people might be like, you can't even eat that. Like it's, it's not them. It's, there's no calorie in that. Who cares? That's your pie. Make it pretty. That's what I want to talk about for this week's Minimalist Home Tour. And without further ado, let's start this week's Minimalist Home Tour. Let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's Minimalist Home Tour. Let's start in the bedroom as usual. Ta-da! I really like it. I need to get a new pillow uh, case cover for this one. I still haven't done that. I was actually going to go to a dollar store pretty much to get a pillow cover. But for some reason, they actually don't have any there. Um, I think they maybe like change um, the type of products they carry every season, which is understandable. There's a bunch of Halloween decorations. I'm debating if I should get some. But yeah, well... And over here, as you can see, this is my entire uh, house slash room from this angle. Pretty spacious for one lady. Uh, and of course, I have a lot of clothes here that's mostly in season clothes. I do have a bunch of laundry, so this isn't really all my clothes. And as you can see, these are my clean dry laundry that I actually need to fold and put away. I even got my uh, little vest there. The weather's getting a little cooler here. And of course, again, I love this these panels. Ooh, so nice. And I also wanted to give y'all like a little bit of a jewelry tour because I got this like new, it's a blue diamond. I think it's so pretty. Um, Yeah, and I wear that on my ring finger and people have been asking me like, are you married? I'm like, why is that any of people's business? It's so funny. I love it. I do not love it when uh, strange people ask me, especially men, if I'm married or not. And I'm like... What's, what's that anything to do with you? Um, you're not a candidate for that anyways. <laughs> I just want to know men. Whatever. Uh, so there's food that I need to um, cook. There's like bit of... I'm actually allergic to eggs, but I got these as service. I didn't really even ask for that. Um, when I ordered some delivery food, like kimbap and stuff. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um, I might just take these eggs and give it to like a street cat. I'm not sure. Is that safe to do so? Anyway, there's some like bean sprouts that I can cook with pretty soon. As I've been telling y'all, I do try to cook more, uh, so on and so forth. Let's go into the bathroom. Ta-da! I've actually had to clean my drain a little bit in the sink. It's not too clean. I don't even want to show y'all because it's kind of dirty. Uh, but I had kind of like a clogged drain that I've been cleaning. And of course, there's a bunch of cleaning supplies here. Just some skincare products. I've started using this essence. Um, this was a gift. Uh, and you know, I need to get more feminine hygiene products because for some reason my hormones been kind of out of whack and out of whack meaning like I have normal periods, which, but it's like not really normal for me because I am on birth control. So anyways, uh, I just wanted to talk about that. And, and here, of course, the laundry's done. I need to hang them up. There's actually another batch of laundry that I need to do a bunch of stuff I have to do actually. Uh, there's some documents I need to get to. Um, so as you can see, I have not been really staying on top of my household tasks too much um, as of late. But I just wanted to show you all down here. Nothing much. Just my trash bag and toilet paper. The usual shebang. And um, I did open my wine. So I actually got a new wine opener, by the way. Because these only open regular cans. So I was kind of bummed out about that. I thought it was like multi purpose. Uh, whoo, I can't really speak English today. Uh, but yeah, of course, there's like some board games and a bunch of uh, miscellaneous items. And of course, I know I have a little mannequin head hiding in there and more toilet paper, which I didn't realize I had more toilet paper. So nice little extra bonus. And that was the home tour for this week. And without further ado, let's go to the outro. So that was my home tour for this week. I hope y'all liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time with more content. Bye! Oh.